Okay, now we have to come question number one, part C. Here we have to find the volume of prism. As we already know that volume of prism is equal to base area multiplied by its height. Look at this shape. Here in this prism, it consists of three different rectangular shape. Okay, I concentrate on the first rectangular shape. Look here, this one, this one. Okay, here the length is 9 centimeter and the breadth is 3 centimeter. So, this one is the first one. Now, concentrate on the second one. That is, uh, again, it, it's uh, uh, this one is, uh, is a rectangular shape and this is equal to 9 centimeter into 5 centimeter. Look here. This portion is equal to 9 centimeter. This means, again, if we have to take this portion, look here this portion. So again, this one is also equal to 9 centimeter. What is its breadth? It is equal to 5 centimeter. Okay. So th this one is the second one. And now we come to the third one. In third rectangular shape, look here. What shall we have to do? You know that the whole complete this portion is equal to 9 centimeter. And this one is equal to look at this. This one is equal to 6 centimeter. If you have to subtract this 6 from this 9 centimeter, we will get 3 centimeter. Okay. And similarly, the whole here length is equal to 16 centimeter. And this portion I have, look here. This is of 3 centimeter. This is of 4 centimeter. Okay. First, I have to erase. And then I have to show it to you. Look here. If this give me, I want a razor. Look here. First, I have to erase so that it becomes easier for you to understand. Okay. Now, look here. Okay. Look here. This one is the first rectangle. Here, look here. What is its length? Its length is equal to 9 and its breadth is equal to 3. This is clear. Now look at this second uh, rectangle, this one. Again, in this rectangle, it's, this side measurement is 9. Obviously, this side measurement is also equal to 9. So in this rectangle, because this prism has, has the base area of, consists of three rectangles. The first one is 9 and the 3. The second one is again from this side to this side it is equal to 9 and its breadth is of 5. I think so these two rectangles are very much easier and these, uh, these are clear to all of you. Now we come to the third one which is very much important and which I want to describe you so that it's become easier for you to understand. Okay. So Now we come to the third one. Okay, this one. Look here. From this to this, what is its measure? Its measurement is of 16. From this to this, its measurement is of 16. But look here. From this, it is equal to 3. And here, it is equal to 5. The whole this one is equal to 16, but this portion is 3, this portion is 5. So after subtracting this 5 and this 3 from this 16, this portion, we just want this portion that is equal to 8 centimeter. It is clear. This is the length of the third rectangle. Now we comes to its breadth. Look here. It's here. This one is of 9 centimeter and this one is this portion is of 6 centimeter this one okay so when we have to subtract this 6 from this 9 we will get 3 centimeter this means this this rectangle look here this rectangle which we need we take as third rectangle, its length is equal to 8. And how we will get this 8? By subtracting this 5 
this three and this five from this sixteen. Clear? Now we comes to its breadth. This the whole from this to this it is equal to nine, but this portion is equal to six. So from nine we have to subtract this six and we will get the breadth of this uh, rectangle and that is equal to three. This one is the third rectangle of this prism because the base of this prism consists of three rectangle. Now I think so it is clear. So first one is nine into five. The second one is nine into three. Look here. That's nine into five. Next nine into three. And this portion, this one. Look here. I'm talking about this portion. I have to color so it is easier. This portion, its length is equal to eight and its breadth is equal to three. How we have to find the breadth? From nine, I have to subtract this six and we will get this three. Okay. So this one is the third portion. So first we have to multiply this length into breadth. The first rectangle is equal to 9, 5 times 45. Now, then we have to multiply the, the area of this rectangle. 9 into 3 is equal to 27. Now we comes to 8. 8, 3 times 24. Okay. Then we have to add all these three values. 45, 27 and 24 and we will get 96. And what is the this one? What is the height of this prism that is equal to 10 centimeters? So we have to multiply the base area with this height and we will get the volume of this prism that is equal to 960 centimeter. I think so it is clear to all of you. Okay. Then enough is for today.